What's up, happy campers? This is the cool episode. Tanya bought this fan off of Amazon. 17 inch USB ceiling fan. It's kind of impressive. I'm impressed. Got a nice little hook there at the top. 17 inches, covers a pretty good amount of space. I don't know how well this will do in our 10 by 14 tent, but if I were to take this in our smaller four person dome tent, this probably would circulate the air pretty well. You gotta be able to hook it up to USB. It's a pretty long cord though, and it has a switch. But with it being USB, the cool thing is you could use like a battery backup. Like we've got a couple USB battery backups that we could hook this up to. All right, happy campers. What better day to do a video about keeping cool than on a 100 degree day in Texas? So I figured, why not? I'm hot, I'm sweaty, let's talk about fans. This is the cool episode. This is a collection of our fans. This one has gone on a lot of our camping trips. I like this one a lot because it's a light and it's a fan. It has a hook you can hang it up in the top of your tent. Super awesome. You can even do a little positioning there. But if you want to have it as a tabletop fan, you can use the light ring as a base. I think that's pretty awesome. However, doesn't put out a lot of blow. Blow, blow. All right, I'm gonna jump to this one. This, look at that sawdust. This doesn't get a lot of use. This fan was bought years ago for camping. It's super heavy. It folds down nice and neat. It's got a handle, even has a hook. And it has a base for standing up. Man, I should have cleaned this before I filmed. But it is loaded with, uh, I believe, D batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you've bought batteries, you know that eight D batteries, that's like probably $20 worth of batteries. It blows, but it doesn't blow all that great. So once again, in the fan world, it's kind of a dud. You probably could see why this doesn't get carried with us a lot. So let me introduce you to something that Tanya just bought. Tanya got this white fan you can see laying here. It's a ceiling fan. We got off of Amazon. Has a hook on the top. Has a long cord and a switch on it with a USB connector. The blades do come back off. Just pull them out so you can I should have kept the box. I wound up trashing the box. Now I'm regretting that. We could probably find some kind of a sack or something that we could put this in to travel with. And with it having a USB cord, I came up with the idea. We have several of these anchor batteries. This is the test. I haven't even tested this yet. There we go. Now I would say out of all the fans I've shown you so far, this one produces the most breeze. Now, I'm not sure if this would work all that great in our 10 by 14 tent, but our small four person dome tent, I think this would actually work really well in. And it's putting off a good amount of breeze. I mean, it's not like a high powered jet fan like I like next to my bed. But overall, I feel like this would get the air moving a lot better in the tent than the other fans I've showed you. And it's pretty cool. It works with the, uh, the battery there. And I had a, an idea. We have an anchor solar panel with USB ports on it. What do y'all think? Will it power the fan on the spot? 
Oh, it's struggling. It does not like something about the power source. It's not liking. Maybe it's because I don't have sun on all the panels. Let's try that. Here we go. Sun on all three panels, and I got the fan to work. How cool is that? That's just an experiment. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that in the middle of the night because, you know, the sun don't shine in the middle of the night. This is the first episode kicking off from my new little studio, also known as the corner of my bedroom. <laughs> Try to decorate it up nice. I have a homemade campfire. <laughs> I'm disappointed though. The picture that was on Amazon showed that being like an actual flame. We're gonna play around with it, try to maybe find a better one of those. And actually on the shelf up there, I wanna build like little sticks around it and have like a little campfire on display in the back of my studio. The behemoth behind me. This is a portable air conditioner. If you have an aversion to putting an air conditioner in a tent, this channel's not for you. <laughs> you can troll somewhere else. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to hate on anybody. But don't hate on me either. Ran into an issue here recently with a Facebook group. Tent camping in Texas. Somebody decided that they didn't like that people would put ACs in tents. They think we're a bunch of special snowflakes because it's hot outside and we want to deal with it and we got creative so whatever moving on this bad boy is a 14,000 BTU portable air conditioner it uses a hose this exact one to vent heat outdoors you can mount this to a little bracket that hooks to the bottom of a window inside I actually have cut a hole in the side of my garage put a dryer exhaust on it and then we put this on there to help cool down the garage in the summertime and we have taken this on one tent camping trip thus far, and we will take it probably all summer. I have made sure that we have at least 30 amp electric sites all summer long. During the day, I highly doubt I can cool a tent when it's 100 degrees out and the sun's blaring down on it. I'm gonna try, and I will let you know, but at nighttime when it drops to 80 degrees and the humidity is probably gonna be high, which is why it's still 80 degrees, this thing is actually gonna be really effective. So far we tried this, in Goliad, Texas, the temperature was 84 degrees outside and we were able to get the temp down inside to a comfortable 68 degrees. It was dry, it was cool, everybody slept great. Now, I've seen other people try to take a window unit and they either cut holes in their tent or there was even there for a moment, Ozark Trail made a few tents that had actual ports for those window units. Well, with this, what we did, we just put this out the door. We had our electric coming in. We had this out the door. And then to tr try to help cut down on critters coming in and out, I just wrapped a towel around it and we zipped right to the towel. And it worked great. I mean, it was amazing. The only problem we had was, my first thought was, zip everything shut so I'm not sucking heat in. That was a big mistake. This thing tried to suck the tent in on itself. So I vented all the windows and then it worked. It still, it was able to bring some air in. It still kind of pulled the size of the tent in, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't damaging anything. And I was wondering, I'm like, why is this thing working so well? I didn't think that it would be that effective. But then I was researching RVs, because by the way, we like the idea of an RV. We, we hope to get one someday. They come with a 13,500 BTU standard AC, unless you upgrade it, which I recommend you do if you're in Texas. This is 14,000. This is more powerful than a standard RV air conditioner. So put that in a 10 by 14 tent and it is enough. <laughs> it was very effective. So we were really excited. So that is the plan when we go camping, even tent camping. Take this bad boy with us, hook it up inside the tent, cool it down. And during the day, we're gonna have to find something else to do because like I said, I doubt we're gonna be able to cool it down. So that's what we've got going for coolness. I know there's some other ideas out there. 
been talking with my friend Melissa. She wants to get us going on one of those cool contraptions where you cut some holes in a bucket and put some hoses on it, put some dry ice in it. I totally want to try that and totally want to put a video out there for y'all to see how to do it. Not just like, hey, I did this, but I would love to actually show y'all how we do that so that you can do it as well if you like. So if you've got any other ideas, any other ways to stay cool, especially when tent camping, please let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up on our video and subscribe for more videos like this. We greatly appreciate it. If you wanna be notified about our videos, they put a little bell right there. You click on the bell, you click on all, I think it is, puts little lines on the outside of it, and then you get notified. So that's up to you. If, if you like this video, if you like this sort of thing and you want to come back, we would love to have you come back because we appreciate y'all. All right, I think that's it for now. As you can see, I am drenching my shirt in sweat with this 100 degree sun. So I am going to sign off now and say, happy camping, y'all. <laughs>